One of the toughest things in this life of ours is losing friends and family. We all deal with the transition from life to death differently. There's the classic funeral service and burial, and even a wake or the ceremonial sprinkling of ashes over a place most meaningful. And while the headstone on a gravesite is one form of remembering who the person was when they were here on this earth, there are other ways to remember. You can build a website, plant a commemorative tree, or even install a park bench with a memorial plaque. Which is exactly what we here at Shaw have just done at Rutledge Park in Saanich. May this bench be a place of peace and tranquility. On August 16th, 2008, 24-year-old Kelsey Hemstock died in a whitewater rafting accident near Chilliwack. Kelsey worked at our shore offices in Saanich. She was a valued member of our customer accounts team. And now, one year later, her co-workers have raised enough money to install a memorial bench for Kelsey. A place where many people will sit, find rest, and feel joyful. Raising this money to buy Kelsey's bench and 10 years of maintenance for it. This is an offering of love from you, the Shaw team. And that gift is priceless. Kelsey had talked to me about Rutledge Park because she would come here with her friends on breaks from work. And she told me how beautiful it was. And so now that we are living here on this end of the island, we will be coming here on a regular basis because it's a place where I feel I can come now and experience Kelsey on her bench and reflect maybe on the times that she was here in physical uh, on her breaks and talking to people and just enjoying these beautiful surroundings. Shaw was where Kelsey spent most of her waking hours, where she met the love of her life, and became close friends with many of her co-workers. You know, the donations for the bench and the turnout today just reflects, you know, what a profound impact she had on us and really, uh, in many ways, was like an extension of our immediate family. Here and now, no choices here are closed. As children grow, they grow with what they see. Kelsey loved children, which is another reason that the bench makes sense in this location. Children play here often. Kelsey's stepfather, Daryl Ellert, says that the bench offering will help people to continue to connect with Kelsey in spirit. Wow, that's pretty amazing. He, along with Kelsey's mother, have both lost a spouse. And together they've created a business called Life Transitions, helping you to deal with difficult times in your life. I mean, everybody processes the, the loss of a loved one in, in different ways and in their own ways, and there's, there's no right or wrong way to, to, uh, to process that. I've, uh, in my lifetime, I've lost parents. Um, I've lost a wife of 26 years, and, uh, and now Kelsey. That healing takes place as you learn to express and accept the situation. Thank you for this most precious gift of Kelsey's bench. You could not have honored Kelsey in a more perfect way. In Saanich, I'm James Green, your Urban Specialist.